Okay, hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about typecasting or using cast operators. So in the last video, we tried to create an integer variable. We called it number. And then we also, we created other variables, but we, you know, during the process, we created a double vari variable. So we called it double number. And then we set double to 2.0. I'm, I'm not sure about the number, but, but it will work, you know, for, for the purpose of this video, it will work. Let's set it to 2.0. So what we did was we tried to set the value of the double number to not to this number integer variable. So let's try to do that. Number is equal to double number. Basically, what, what is stored in double number? We are trying to store it in number. And we try to print out the content of number the, with the message instead. The content of number is, and let's concatenate it with number. So this, so this is what we tried to do, right? <clears throat> but when we tried to compile this, it said possible loss of precision because we were trying to store a double value, okay, into an integer value. Basically, doubles can store larger numbers, right? Not, you know, numbers way bigger than what an integer can hold. And because we are trying to store something bigger or something really big into a into a, a data type, an integer, into a data type that can only hold so much, that, that can hold, you know, only, only a certain range. Basically, a double number can hold so many, you know, larger values, but an integer can hold you know, only a certain range. You know, not 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 all the big numbers that that are basically a double number can hold. And so, <clears throat> Java is complaining over here and telling you that if you are forcing it to store this big number into this data type that can only hold a certain a certain range, then it can only hold what it can hold and throw away the rest. It's telling you that you're going to lose data. And so, it's not going to do it. It, 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 but you, but we can do it ourselves using type casting, and so it's basically we are forcing Java to try to store this big number in this this integer data type, integer variable, which can only hold you know a certain range. Okay, it can't hold all the all the values of a double, and so we can use type casting to convert this number, this big value, to an in, an integer. Basically, what an integer can hold. We are converting this double var variable to an integer before storing it in an, in an integer. And when we do that, it wouldn't complain. And so when we compile this, we see it's still telling us possible loss of position. So the way we can do that, the way we can try to convert this double var variable to an integer is by using typecasting. And, and so I'm going to type in int in parentheses. Now, not the, var the variable in parentheses, the data type in parentheses in front of the variable. In other words, I'm saying that, okay, you said that this number is too big to be stored in number, all right. Now don't store the big number, just convert it to an integer so that this integer variable number can, can, can store it or can hold it. We are casting this variable so that its value converted to an integer can be stored here, all right. When I compile this, now it works. Run this, and now it, it displays too. So basically, this number, 2.0, which is big, right? It's big because it has a decimal, you know, point, you know, so it can store really large numbers. And so all that large number couldn't be stored in the, in the number integer variable. And so we had to convert it to an integer using typecasting before the program was able to, or the, yeah, before the program was able to store it here. And so that's how you do it. The data type in front of the variable surrounded in parentheses. All right, so let's try something else. I'm going to delete these variables. And let's work directly in the system that the print Helen statement. Still talking about typecasting. So if you remember integer division, right, we were doing something like 5 divided by 2. Now on our calculator, let me just pull that out really quickly. If we type in five divided by two, we know that we get 2.5. And so based on integer in, integer division, we knew that we weren't getting correct results, right? Five divided by two, it should give us 2.5, but when we compile it in our, in our program, and after a couple of seconds, this will show up. Sometimes it takes a while, I don't know, my computer uh, freezes sometimes. But yes, after 
But yes. So when we do this, instead of getting 2.5 like we got on our calculator, when I run this, we get 2. And that's because of integer division. I talked about that in another video. So the reason why it's, re it's returning 2 is because both of these are integers, right? Instead of giving us 2.5, because both of these are integers, both operands are integers, it's considering this division as an, in, an, as an integer division. And even though the answer is 2.5, because it's an in, integer division, it's not giving us the 2.5, it's giving us only the 2, the, the integer part of that answer. And basically, uh, and basically returning that and printing it. And so the way we, we fixed this in that video, the integer division video, was we said that at least one of these values have to be a double, right? Both of them can be doubles, but at least one of them has to be a double. We, we fixed it by by changing it to 5.0, right? In this case, 5. one of them is a, it's a double, so when we compile this and we run it, we get 2.5. Go, go back to 5 divided by 2, all integers, in integer division, and we get 2. We also tried with the 2, change that to a double, at least one of them is a double, compile this, run it, and we got 2.5. Now when we, let, let's go back to 5 divided by 2, compile this, run, we get 2 because of integer division. When both of them are doubles, 5.0, 2.0, compile this, we get 2.5 because at least one of them is a double, right? But what if you don't want to change your values? What if you are dealing with integers and you really want these to divide and give you 2.5? right but because of the integer division in java right we are not getting you know our, our correct answer what if you wanted to keep these values as you mean these values were stored in variables and you didn't want to really go and change these values in the variables by you know adding point zero to them what if there are integer variables even what if there are integer variables you don't want to go and ch change if you change if you change the value in an integer variable you're going to get an error because an integer variable can only store integers so what if you don't want to change it you can use type casting to convert the value to a double you know uh, b, you know b basically before processing it so we can do do basically work, work work with it the same way we can say that we want to convert this five to a double just for this calculation and the way we do that is we type the type in parentheses in front of the number by doing this I have converted this five to a double and so now I, at least one of them, is double when I compile this still five I've changed I've still left it as an integer but I have just for this calculation I have converted this this is now 5.0 I have converted it to 5.0 for this calculation so it's now really 5.0 divided by 2 compile this and run it and we get 2.5 I can also do it, do it for the 2 now I've, I've converted this 2 to a double the type in parentheses in front of the number in front of the operand compile this and run and I get 2.5. I can also do it for both of them. At least one of them has to be a double. But if both of them are, it's fine because all you need is that at least one of them has to be a double. Compile this, run it, and we still get 2.5. Now you, you can close these spaces if you want. I just like to keep mine spaced out so I can see it. Alright, so let's do something um, you know, let, let's let let's actually store these numbers in variables, right? So let's say integer first number is equal to five, and integer second number is equal to two. Now let's change this to first number. Change this to second number. Compile this, and it should be the same thing, right? And so. Like I said, all it requires is that one of only at least one of them has to be double. So we know in this case, first number is a double. Compile this, run. We are fine. Okay. Now you may be tempted to do something like this. You may be first tempted to do something like this, right? Um, something like this. First number is equal to well, actually, let's let, let's let's store the result, okay, of the division in a variable. Let's create another double variable okay and because we know we're going to get you know it's possible we get to do, we're going to get to double so let's create a double variable and let's call it something like um, result 
right? And let's set it equal to this. I'm going to cut it and paste it here. So the way this is, when we display result, we, we should get two, right? Um, two, right? Because of integer division, five divided by two. In integer division will give us two, not two point five. And it's two point zero because this is a double. We 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 said the way to fix it is with the double typecasting, right? Now this fixes it. I just want want this to be clear because this can really mess up your calculations in, in your in your in your program. It can really mess you up. So now we fixed it because at least one of them has been typed has been casted to a double, even though this first number still has stayed as an integer. Now I couldn't go here and say, okay, I want to fix it by changing this to 5.0, assuming I didn't have this, because I've declared this as an integer, and, this, and I can't store a double variable, a double value in, in an integer. So when I compile this, it's going to give me an error. So if I wanted to keep this as an integer, while I was expect while I was wanting this to work by giving me 5.0, sorry, but by giving me 2.5. My option is typecasting, and we've seen that a couple of times. And this is just so that it's clear to you, know, to you all. So this is what I wanted to say. You may be tempted to do something like this. You can surround both of basically this calculation with parentheses and then typecast all of that. You may be tempted to do that. Now, you may think this will work. But actually, what, what's happening is this. You are still doing, you're still basically performing an integer division here. First number is still 5, second number is still 2. 5 divided by 2, both of them are integers. And so this is considered as an integer division. So instead of you getting 2.5, you're still going to get 2. But you may think that because you have this type cast, this cast operator here, double, you may think that, oh, that, that will solve it and change that 2.0 to 2.5. No. It's when you actually perform in the calculation, the division itself. One of them has to be a double for you to get a double. Otherwise, when it's considered as an integer division, even though the answer is 2.5, only the integer part of that answer, 2.5, which is basically 2, only the, only the 2 out of the 2.5, only the integer part of that answer, 2.5, will be returned. So if two is returned, right? Now two will be typecasted to a double, right? Two typecasted to, to a double is basically 2.0, and 2.0 will be stored in the result. It's, it's being typecasted all right, but the result, after, it's, or it, it, after it finished it, the, integer, uh, the integer division was basically the result over here. After I finished the, um, calculating the integer division, the result was typecasted. And you may think this is correct, but uh, it's still wrong. Because in the integer division occurred here, and you, you got 2, and then 2 was typecasted to 2.0, and that was a result. And so when we compile this, you may think that, okay, you, you know, you, you should, you, you'll be expecting 2.5, but, but this is wrong. It's when you're actually doing the division, one of them has to be a double, right? So you don't need this. One of them has to be a double. It, it could be the first number, at least one of them. It could be the first number. Or well, second number, you could do this. Okay, now I know that one of them at least. Not, now you can leave the parentheses there or not. I know that one of them at least is a double. I can make both of them doubles, but all all it expects is that one of them becomes a double. Okay, so when I compile this and I run, I get two point five. Now this can really really mess you up in your programs, and so it's very important that you understand this typecasting. Um, now you can use other data types. You can typecast to a short, you can you can typecast to let me just leave it. You can typecast to an int, you can typecast to you know a long, you can use other other data types. But just know that this is is, is available. Alright. So if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night, have a good sleep, have a nice time, um, have a nice day. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.